Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload your Dreaming Tree files into Design Space. When you download your file, it's going to download as a zipped file, and you're going to see that indicated by a little zipper on the icon as well as the word zip. Now, if you are downloading using a Mac and Safari, this should automatically unzip for you. If you are on a Mac and it did not, you simply need to double click the file and you will see that it has unzipped for us. In addition, if you are using a PC, then you simply want to right click the file and extract all and it will extract it for you as well. Going forward, we will only be using the unzipped file. Okay, now that we have Design Space open, I'm going to go over here to the left and click Upload and upload image and browse. I'm going to browse to the destination of where we unzipped that file. All right, now I've navigated to where I unzipped that file. So we're going to go into the unzipped file for the layered greeting card. And then in this folder, you will see there is a menu PDF. There is a photo image of the uh, card and there is the SVG folder. We are going to go into the SVG folder and you're going to see that there are four elements to this card. We will need to upload each and every one of those elements. Uh, we do have an extras folder. If we go in there, we're going to see that there is an envelope. So we will want to ensure we upload the contents of the envelope. And we have a solid score line version. Now I do have a separate tutorial on using solid score lines. So for this example, we are just going to be uploading the dashed cut score lines. So I just need to simply go ahead and click on the uh, first one here and open. And you will see that it shows you an image of the element. We're simply going to click upload. And we're going to go ahead and repeat that process for the additional elements of that project. So the panel lavender will need to be uploaded. We're going to go ahead and upload the panel limeade. And then we're going to go ahead and upload the panels white. Again, you'll want to go through and upload the envelope as well. For this demonstration, I will just be uploading the card. So now I just want to go ahead and select these four elements. As I click them, you will see they are highlighted in green. So I'm highlighting the four elements of this project and clicking Add to Canvas. Now that we have our file downloaded to our iPad, we need to go ahead and unzip it before we can upload it to Cricut. Now I am using iOS 15.4 on my iPad, which is the latest iOS. So I am going to launch my files app and you're going to see here on the left, there's some locations and these are where your file saved. Depending on your settings, it could have saved to your iCloud drive or onto your iPad. I save mine to my iCloud drive and you will see that there and I'm going to click on downloads and you will see that that file is zipped in the downloads folder. To unzip it, I simply just need to click on it once and you will see that that has been unzipped and indicated by the blue folder and that blue folder is what we will be using going forward. So we can go ahead and launch design space now and we are going to click on new project and we are going to go to the bottom left and we are going to click upload and browse files. Now you're going to go ahead and click that back arrow so that you can navigate to where you unzipped that file. Mine was in the downloads and so you're going to see that there. I am going to go into that SVG folder and then again we're going to upload each and every one of these. So I'm going to click on main peach now the only difference in the desktop version is you do need to name each one. So Peach. And when this pops up, I usually close it so that I can add all of the files at the end. So I will show you that. So I'm gonna click Close, and I'm gonna click Upload, Browse Files. I'm gonna to go to the panel Lavender. I'm gonna type in Lavender, Save. And when that window pops up, we're going to click Close. Then we're going to do Upload, Browse Files. We're going to go to the next one, Panel Limeade. We'll name that Limeade. And finally, 
load browse files, move the panels white, and we're going to name that white and save. All right, so when the window comes up the last time, you can go ahead and just select those four items or however many items that were included in that upload and click on insert. And now you will see that those have been added to your map.